A small team of Japanese scientists has just uncovered hundreds of new Nazca glyphs hidden in the Peruvian desert. If you've never heard of them, the Nazca lines are enormous ancient drawings etched into the arid plains of southern Peru. Vast geoglyphs of animals, plants, and human figures created more than 2,000 years ago by the Nazca civilization. Scientists had already found hundreds of these designs, from straight lines and geometric shapes to giant figures like the monkey, spider, and the so-called astronaut. Some stretch over 600 feet, visible only from above, which is why tourists today fly over them in small planes to see the full images. But how did ancient people make such massive and precise drawings without modern tools? Their method was clever but simple. They scraped away the dark stones on the surface to expose the lighter clay beneath, creating bright lines that have survived for millennia thanks to the dry desert climate. Using ropes and wooden stakes for guidance, they likely scaled up smaller sketches into the gigantic figures we see today. Now, with the help of AI and drones, scientists are seeing the Nazca Desert in a completely new way. In just six months, Japanese researchers identified over 300 new glyphs that had gone unnoticed for centuries. Drones captured thousands of images from above, and an AI system scanned them to detect subtle patterns the human eye might miss. These new figures are smaller than the famous ones, what scientists call relief-type glyphs, often showing humans and animals rather than just giant creatures. One depicts a 16-foot humanoid holding a club. Another shows a fish gasping for air, and perhaps the most striking, a bird with legs stretching over 250 feet long. Even more fascinating, some of these bird figures had been misidentified for years. Ornithologists discovered that what once seemed like a simple hummingbird was actually a hermit, a tropical species from the lush northern forests. Another turned out to be a pelican, a coastal bird, not one that lives in the desert at all. So how did the Nazca people, living in one of the driest places on Earth, know about animals from distant regions? And why carve them into the sand? These new discoveries suggest the Nazca lines might be more than simple drawings. Japanese researchers believe they may have been paths of pilgrimage, spiritual routes meant to be experienced on foot. Travelers would follow trails across the desert, gradually revealing faint shapes below them, while only the gods above could see the full picture. Many of these glyphs stretch toward Kawachi, a sacred ceremonial center once considered the heart of the Nazca civilization. Kawachi wasn't a city where people lived. It was a spiritual gathering place, filled with pyramids, plazas, and ritual offerings. This has led scientists to think that the lines in the site were deeply connected, forming part of a larger spiritual landscape. Altogether, more than 700 glyphs have been identified, and experts believe many more are still hidden beneath the desert sands. The combination of AI and archaeology is revolutionizing what we know about ancient civilizations. And it's not just happening in Peru. The same technology is being used in the Vesuvius Challenge, where scientists are decoding ancient scrolls from Herculaneum, carbonized during Mount Vesuvius's eruption in 79 AD. By virtually unwrapping them with AI, researchers have even revealed words invisible for nearly 2,000 years. All this shows how artificial intelligence isn't just transforming our future, it's helping us rediscover our past. I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think the Nazca lines were used for? Have you got any theories? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're interested in more videos on archaeological discoveries, be sure to hit that subscribe button before the next ancient secret drops.